Here I am giving you my last speech, the commemorative speech. Today, my sweet speech will be about a specific Brazilian player called Neymar Jr. I looked up to him since I was uh, like 12 years old. I started playing soccer when I was five and he's a very big figure to me in the soccer industry. So, do you know what the best sport in the world is? I don't think so. It's soccer. Now you know. And the three great things that I'll be talking about today about Neymar Jr. is that he started his own brand. He has a strong religious background and is very family oriented. And that's, those are the three main reasons that I look up to him. There's other reasons, but those are the main three. And I'll be touching on those topics today. So now onto my first point about why I look up to Neymar and his brand. So I looked up to Neymar and his brand because like not just anybody starts a brand and he was able to be one of the top players. Right here it says that Neymar was identified as the third most popular player in the country with 10% of the fans identifying him among their favorite player, said Ben Downey, off a of sports analyst. And well, just because he's one of the, he's like, he is one of the best players and was at one point in the top three. He was able to get his name out, which also got his brand out. So that was really big and really got me hooked on like his movement and what he does. The other thing is that Neymar sells a variety of stuff and not just for a certain, um, certain amount of people. He sells like to anybody who's interested in what he does, what he stands for, Brazilian or not, he'll sell to you, male or female, whatever gender, whatever age, his brand sells and gives it all. Not just that, but because he's famous, like I said, he was in the top three at one point of the best soccer athletes in the entire world. He's able to get sponsorships. Those sponsorships give him money, which makes him able to be, makes it makes him able to fund his um his company, his brand, what he started. So now on to my next topic about his religious background. I noticed this one day that I was just watching a championship. They were, his team was playing. He used to play for Barcelona. That's when I really watched him heavily. Now not too much. I watch him here and there, but yeah. So um, the reason I noticed that he was religious is because he was pointing up after scoring goals. And I'd be like, what does this mean? What's, what's the meaning behind him pointing up? But then I put it all together and it's like, I did this for you, God. This is for you. This is why I scored. Here we see Neymar pointing up into the sky, thanking God for scoring. I looked it up and he's a certain amount of Christian. He's a certain Christian. Uh, it's kind of hard to say what kind of Christian he is. I said it on there, but like to pronounce it, pronunciate it is kind of difficult. Neymar also has a tattoo on the back of his neck, which shows that he is strongly, he strongly believes in God and is religious. So now onto my final point, which is how Neymar is that very family oriented. Again, I saw this well. As one of his games ended, he like he pointed at his son and gave him a heart to him and his wife. Um, he also had the opportunity to go to one of the richest clubs in Europe. But he didn't take it because his father told him to not take that opportunity because it wasn't good for him. Maybe he could get another offer. So he waited and he did get a better offer with Barcelona. And so we could see how he has respect for his parents. We, we see it with his mom because he's not too loud about her. He knows he has to respect her privacy and he's not too loud about her. But we, we know that he loves her because we see it with his son, his dad, his wife. He's always just showing them off and he plays and makes money and works towards giving them a good life. After hearing all my virtues of why I look up to Neymar, now let's summarize what I talked about. The three things that I talked about were that he started his own brand and I really respect him for that because I want to start my own brand. He has a strong religious background. I'm also religious, so I look up to him in that way as well. And he is very family oriented. And that's what I like about him. That concludes this. Thank you for listening and have a great day, miss.